Hello, my name is Derek Jones and today I'm going to show you how to synchronize your files between two SharePoint environments using Ontolica Fusion. Now this tutorial builds off our previous video entitled Migrate Your Files from SharePoint to SharePoint Including Folders with Ontolica Fusion. If you have not yet seen that video, I suggest that you watch that first before watching this video. Okay, let's move forward. Now before we get started I would like to briefly show you my SharePoint 2010 and Office 365 environments. As you can see my SP2010 library has two folders titled Marketing and Sales. When we switch over to my Office 365 environment you can see the same two folders Marketing and Sales. Okay let's move forward to step number one. Step number one modify your existing component to synchronize your files between SP environments. Let's get started. Double click your created component and unselect show at startup. Now what we're going to do is click show all options and what that will do is remove the fusion guide and allow us to see all options available to us for a synchronization. So as you can see we're going to be synchronizing our SharePoint 2010 environment with our Office 365 environment. Go ahead and select action and click add new only. Now Fusion gives us many different options, but in this instance we're going to go with Add New Only. Once you have done so, click Run, and then click Yes. Fusion is now communicating with our Office 365 and SharePoint 2010 environments, and it's checking to see if any new documents have been added to our SharePoint 2010 environment, and if so, it will go ahead and synchronize that with our Office 365 environment. However, no new documents have been added to our Microsoft SharePoint environment, so as you can see, nothing has been added and nothing has been replaced. Okay, on to step number two. Step number two, synchronize your SharePoint 2010 and Office 365 environments. Now during step number one, there had been no new documents added to SharePoint 2010. However, I have gone back and added a new document, so let's synchronize our two environments. Since our component is already synchronized, all we have to do is select Run and our Office 365 environment will be updated with the newly added document. So go ahead and click Run and then click Yes. Fusion is now analyzing both our SharePoint 2010 environment as well as our Office 365 environment to see if any documents have been updated or modified. If so, Fusion will automatically synchronize those two environments and should be done so in just a moment. Our synchronization is complete, so let's go ahead and take a look at our Office 365 environment to see the end results. Go ahead and refresh the page. And voila! As you can see, your SharePoint 2010 and Office 365 environment have been synchronized successfully. Let's move forward to step number three. Step number three, configure an ongoing synchronization between Office 365 and SharePoint 2010. So we're going to go ahead and click Run as a Batch Job. I'm going to name my job SP2010 to 0365. Once you have finished, click the Scheduling tab. We're going to want to synchronize daily, and we're going to want our synchronization to start tomorrow, so I'm going to insert tomorrow's date. no end date and we'd like our synchronization to repeat every hour go ahead and click OK click OK again click yes our job has been scheduled so go ahead and click OK Now, as you can see Fusion has opened a new window and that is our batch server and you're going to want to keep this window open during synchronization so let's go ahead and take a look at our batch job monitor just to make sure that our synchronization is configured and good to go for tomorrow. Select the parallel tab and as you can see our synchronization is ready to go for tomorrow. Well that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day.